has been such a difficult year for so many of us. How can people find resilience and how do people and how should people practice resilience? The opposite of resilience is rigidity or resistance. So, you know, just understanding that resilience is about elasticity. How can we roll with what's happening? We have to be able to roll with that's happening, what's happening because everything is changing so much and so quickly. That's number one. Number two, once we can recognize and understand, you know, what, what resilience is, we can notice when we're, you know, when we're really holding on, when we're piling stuff on. And that has to do often with us looking into the future and projecting that, oh no, you know, you can tell by, by how wide your eyes get like, oh no, this is gonna be terrible. So we can use our eyes as a meter maybe. Um, but in, in the same way, you know, we can notice, oh, I'm piling things on. I have no idea what's gonna happen a year out. Can I actually dial it back? Know what I do know right now and act accordingly now, knowing that I may need to pivot, you know, in a day, in a week, and whatever. So that's number two. And then number three, our eyes can actually be wide in fear, in the oh no, but they can also be wide when we're curious, like, oh. So we can shift that oh no, like, oh no, this is gonna be terrible, to oh, wow, this is really different. I've never experienced this before. Can I open to this and be curious? And what that does is open the possibility for being creative and thinking of new possibilities that we might have never thought about before in these unprecedented times.